Hi, and welcome to Front Row Review. I'm David Graves. And I'm Vince Maniacci, once again. And tonight we are going to be reviewing Tim Burton's 3D remake of Alice in Wonderland. Now, I actually just went recently, really recently, like yesterday, to go see this. And I wasn't actually going to go see this in IMAX. Uh, the only reason I did was because we had a lot of stuff to do yesterday. And it was the first showing, and the first showing happened to be in IMAX. And I'm really kind of weary about spending of the IMAX money to see it. But with this film, I am really, really glad I spent the IMAX money and seen it in IMAX in 3D. Now, when, when I saw the previews of this film uh, for Alice in Wonderland, I was like, yeah, I can't wait to see this film. And when I saw that it was in 3D and going to be in IMAX 3D, I was like, well, that would be really cool to see. I can't, I, I would like to see it in IMAX 3D. But I, I really didn't expect to, but now that I have seen it in IMAX 3D, and it being my first IMAX 3D film that I've ever watched, I'm really glad I did. I even already recommended it to somebody to go see in IMAX 3D. Yeah, so did I. Everybody that I've talked to, I told them, if you're going to go see this movie, see it in IMAX 3D. Because, you know, I, after watching it, I started thinking, okay, you know, would you have the same impact watching this film not in 3D or seeing it just on a regular screen? And I don't think so. I think, you know, the, one of the best parts of this film is seeing it on that huge screen and seeing it in the amazing 3D that it was. And, I mean, for me, even though, you know, I absolutely love this movie, but seeing it that way just made me like it even more. If anything, I would recommend going to see the 3D version of this movie. Because, like Avatar, I mean, it just... The 3D actually enhanced it, the viewing experience of this film, even more than if you were to see it on regular film. So... Yeah, I recommend the the 3D or the IMAX 3D for it. So, and yes, I was I was extremely pleased with this movie. I thought it was really really good, good done very well. Tim Burton, one of Tim Burton's definite best. So much imagination was put into it, and just everywhere you look, it's just cool stuff going on. And every second on the screen, there's just some weird thing happening somewhere, and it's just so cool to watch. However, Vince, this movie has been getting horrible reviews from everybody. Well, that's why we're here, Dave. That's exactly why we're here, because uh, all the, the big movie guys, they're going to give it horrible reviews. I think a lot of people are complaining that Tim Burton made it a Tim Burton movie. And that's really a stupid you know, complaint about this movie. Because why complain about a director who has his own style and he makes the movie the way he wants to make it? I mean, it's Tim Burton. I don't like to have somebody's influence into my review. So, I can't say I've seen any other reviews. But if that's what they're saying, if that my buddy Dave here is telling me that's what they're saying, then yeah, I think that's ridiculous because it's, Tim Burton was, a, first, was a, a great pick for this film. I mean, really. Who else could really do Wonderland, you know? And the way the movie is presented, the way it's done, it's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be gothic. There's a reason why it looks that way. Yeah, and one thing i got to say here is Helen and Bottom Carter did such a phenomenal, phenomenal job as um, the Queen of Hearts. I mean, she was so amazing in this movie. I mean, it was just, every time she was on the screen, she was just incredible. Someone has stolen three of my toys! Did you steal them? No, Your Majesty. Did you? No, Your Majesty. Did you steal them? No, Your Majesty. Absolutely fantastic. She did a great job. And I thought Johnny Depp did a really good job as the, as the Hatter, as the Mad Hatter. 
but I, I can't say this was one of his most phenomenal performances. It wasn't, I, I, I'd say Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow is that, is one of his most phenomenal performances, but this was really good, and it was definitely perfect for Johnny Depp. I'd know him anywhere. <laughs> well, as you can see, we're still having tea, and it's all because I was at right at your time waiting for your return. You're terribly late, you know, naughty goes into the role and becomes this character and I really liked the character of the Mad Hatter in this one he was quite interesting you know very interesting character the other actor in this film I really liked was Crispin Glover who who played the knave in here Stain and he was he was phenomenal even though he was pretty much basically just his head on a CG body <laughs> Uh, this great big tall CG body, but he was phenomenal. He did a great, great job. I thought he was absolutely perfect. The, the only performance in this movie that was just kind of okay, and it's not really, you know, uh, talking down about the movie, was Alice herself. I thought she did a really good job. I just don't think she was as, you know, great as like Helen Bottom Carter or Johnny Depp or Christian Glover. But she did a really good job. I mean, you know, she was good for what her role was in the movie. Yes, I would have to agree with that. I, w I would definitely have to agree with that. She, she was, she was all right, but I, I can put up against J Johnny Depp and Christian Crispin Glover and Helen. <laughs> I can't say her name. Helen Bonham Carter. Against those three people, it was kind of, eh, you know. And being that this is Alice in Wonderland, you thought you would think, you know, Alice would have been a little better. For me, it didn't bring the movie down at all. I mean, she 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 did, like I said, her role in the movie. She did what she was supposed to do. And for me, the movie was just fun. I mean, it was so much crazy special effects, and these are in, incredible effects in this movie. I mean, these are. As, as good as it gets when it comes to CG effects. Some of the best I've ever seen. Yes, I would totally agree with that. It was great. I mean, these effects in here were just as good as anything that was even in Avatar. This was just a fun movie. I mean, overall, it was just a plain, fun film to make. To make? I made this movie! Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, 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 was, I caught that. I didn't know you made this movie. Did you see my name on the credits? movie is the kind of movie you go see for the effects, for the fun, and it's just a, an enjoyment to go see, and not a movie to go and pick apart saying, oh well, it looks too much like a Johnny, I'll, I'll be right in this, it looks too much like a Tim Burton movie, not a Johnny Depp movie. Well, actually, it was kind of like a Johnny Depp movie. You just don't pick apart a movie like this. You go see it to have fun. Come on, people. This is a fun movie. And yeah, it may not have been exactly like, you know, the guy that wrote Alice in Wonderland's books or whatever, but who cares? This movie was fun, and this is why I do this show, is because movies come out like this and they're so great and so fun to watch, and then all these big shot critics pick these things apart and say, oh, well, this is what's wrong with this one. No, this is a fun movie. It's a lot of fun. I loved it, and I would give this movie... A five out of five. Take that. I would have to tell all these critics, off with their head! Off with their head! So, that's basically what I would say to all these guys that are picking apart this film. I mean, it just... Off with their head! Because it is, it is a lot of fun. And just go there and... It, it's it's good to just go there and just watch the film and have fun with it and that's what it's there for to get you away from everything and it is a lot of fun it's very entertaining and I would give this film a definite definite five out of five whoops, five out of five Normans <laughs> if you can see it in IMAX 3D because it's so impressive in IMAX 3D um, yeah, go see Alice in Wonderland. Don't listen to all these horrible critics, all these horrible reviews. You'll love the movie. And if you don't, you can blame Vince.
Yeah, you know what I'm saying.